we're going on a little adventure. This video is sponsored by the HP ZBook Ultra, powered by AMD Ryzen. We are going to put this little tiny laptop to the test. We are going to go to the park. We're going to film a shot. We're going to take it into C4D while we're still at the park, track it in the park, and render it out on the way home <laughs> because we can do that because it's a laptop. Then we're going to dive into Unreal Engine 5 because that is where this laptop blew my mind. This thing needs to be on your radar. This is the HP ZBook Ultra, which also has 128 gigs of RAM in this tiny little machine. You can actually allocate it all the way up to 96 gig, 96, 96, 96 gigs of VRAM. This is the AMD Ryzen AI Max Plus Pro 395 with Radeon 8060S. And basically what that means is it's a neural chip. And what that is, is that is a CPU and a GPU on the same chip. And so what that means is they don't have to bridge a gap to talk to one another, so they're even faster. This has actually been incredibly easy to review because every hurdle that I have thought I was gonna face, this thing just jumps right over it, no problem. For this video, we're doing something we don't normally do in my videos, we're going outside. Oh God, it's bright. So what I did is I wanted to put this laptop under a really intense stress test from like actual things that I actually do. So, and things that also benefit the fact that it's a laptop. So what I did was I took it out to the park. Let's take our laptop with us. There we go. There we go. We'll keep you nice and safe. I just think this little part of my drive is so pretty. Okay, so first of all, what you want to do when you're looking for tracking shots is you want to have parallax. You want something that has a foreground, something that has a background, because you want it to be able to see and perceive that motion. So like if I turn this around, you see I've got like a tree in the foreground and a tree in the background and then a tree line in the background as well. So we have good parallax right here. We're set up. Nice to sit out here on a park bench and do this work. Loaded that footage on. Took it into Premiere, exported it out as a JPEG, so it was taken to C4D, which then I tracked there in the park and started rendering before I even left to go home. Look at it go. It's already cranking away. That was really cool and it actually did amazing at that. And then on top of that, I wanted to stress test this thing with Unreal Engine 5, which is where it blew my mind. At, in real time renders, in insanely intense giant scenes with 15,000 plus objects. I made sure that I used the Dream Environment Dreams project file that's free it's because everybody has access to it. So if you don't believe me that this little laptop is powerful, take that scene in Unreal Engine on your own machine and see how it works. And then you'll believe that this little piece, this little laptop is fantastic. And guys, if you want one, check it out. Link below. 